All right, here's some blah, bee blast we did the uh, last night. Oh, so this is our cone cover. Here, this is for XLCR motor we're doing. So I got all the oil cleaned out of the yeah, inside. These are all the cut cases after we clean all the puke off of them. So I got brand new beads in the machine, so it's real nice and glossy. See how glossy it is? Wow. Give you a high sheen. Here's the uh, 45 we're supposed to be working on. Customer would be happy to see this been done. Uh, this is the, the other, other side of the CR. That's the other side of the uh, 4045. Look at all the corrosion from that thing in this thing. Yep. That's some serious corrosion. Yeah, it's pretty pukey looking. This is the one that was broken in shipment. They broke the stud off in here and I had to cut it out in the milling machine to get it out. Put a brand new stud up in there. Down in there. Save the old threads. So it's all in there straight and true like it's supposed to be now. So didn't have to do any welding on the cases, which is a plus. So I gotta blow out the breathers here, baffling. So we'll be cutting all these out here later next week. And then we gotta cut it out for stroker clearance because it's gonna be a stroker motor. Pretty much. So this one's gonna be the same thing. Gotta blow the breathers out. Get it all cleaned up. A few little nicks and stuff in here. <coughs> not the best things to be having, but camera to focus, there you go. So we'll just make sure we put good thick see what right. the dog's helping here, see. Are you helping dog? The dog is helping. It's helping me block my view. So anyway, here's my key model case I had sitting in the house. It was pure crap looking. Heavily corroded. Has a little bit of an issue over here with the transmission counter shaft hole. That never happens on a Harley. <laughs> so it's nice and clean. Oh, I hear some fireworks. Oh, it must be nine o'clock. Fireworks. So here's the flywheels for the uh, 72 that we just stripped. Got them all nice and cleaned up. <coughs> These are the ones for the CR right here. These ones are there. The balancing is off by. 200 grams almost. So these are cast iron lifter blocks. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we're going to be using these in the uh, 72 or not. These are aluminum ones out of the CR. These ones are going to get polished. Yep. So I clean them up for you so you can polish them. So, Mix of the 72 and CR stuff here. And the CR rods. This is the motor mount out of the 72. It's been welded across here. So. Mm. It's pretty chewed up down here too. The surface here. We we'll have to work on that. We'll sand this in on the drill press table and get it cleaned up. Something you can do to get some exercise. I really, I need some exercise. You needed something, yeah, didn't you? So yeah, we got a little bit of work going. So we'll be working on this stuff here next uh, week or two. We'll be working on all this stuff, trying to get these two motors together and three motors actually: <coughs> 77, 72, and 42. Nice combination. Right. So there's all the parts up there. So some more stuff to play with. <laughs>